Before enclosing the port and starboard batteries, there are some detailing elements that I would like to install. This will primarily be focused around the installation of a lot of additional support pillars. These pillars have not been provided for in either the detail upgrade kit or the base kit. Although that is to be expected since if you do want to install these pillars, all you need is a piece of brass wire. In addition to installing the pillars, I'm also going to install a couple of ready lockers. These ready lockers will be repurposed from the location on the shelter deck that the HMS Hood Association has identified as having excess ready lockers. There are multiple other details that could be installed in this area of the ship. However, they are going to be considerably more difficult to see. There are smaller elements that are tucked up right up against the ceiling or on the floor. These will be more difficult to see when looking into the ship, and I'm not going to focus on those. I'm more interested in putting in place these vertical elements that are going to be obviously missing if they are not installed. The difficulty that I have at this point is trying to figure out where I should place the pillars and the lockers. Well, the lockers aren't that much of an issue. I can see where they should go. I think it's fairly clear from this picture. But the location of the pillars is considerably more tricky. After searching around on the internet a bit, I didn't find any good pictures of where I should place the pillars. And I don't have a reference book that shows me the correct location of them. In a case like this, what would be ideal is to have a 3D model that I could move around and see where these pillars are actually located. And as it turns out, you can find accurate 3D models of ships like the HMS Hood in computer games. This is World of Warships, and here you can see their model for HMS Hood. Looking at this model, it does seem to be an accurate representation of HMS Hood, according to what has been described on the HMS Hood Association's website. If I zoom in over here, you can see where the pillars should be located. I don't see any ready lockers at the back of the ship, but that's okay. I can get that position out of that photograph from the HMS Hood Association. But it is very useful for positioning the pillars. I can see that there are 14 pillars arranged in pairs that run parallel to each other. And I can see that the back pillar runs just in front of the ladderway that runs down from the shelter deck to the forecastle deck. And that the lines appear to run parallel to each other along the length of the ship. I can also see that the outermost row of pillars connects to the shelter deck at its edge. I can also get an idea of the correct spacing between the pillars. Ignoring all of the other pillars in this area and focusing just on these smaller pillars, you can see that the aft four pairs of pillars are roughly evenly spaced and then the forward three pillars are roughly evenly spaced but with a wider gap than the aft four. Using this information, I'm now able to locate and mark the location of each of the pillars on the deck. To represent these pillars, I'm going to use 0.5mm brass wire. To install these pillars, I'll drill holes in the deck at the correct locations, and then push through slightly longer pieces of wire than is required. This will then enable me to use a flat piece of plastic to push them all down from above, such that the top of all the pillars are at the same height and in contact with the shelter deck. Now that I know how I'm going to build the pillars, I need to know where to position them. As you saw from the 3D model in World of Warships, the outer row of the pillars needs to go at the very edge of the shelter deck. To position it, I use a piece of wire that I drop down from the shelter deck to the deck and position it on an appropriate plank. Taking note of where the wire touches the deck, I count out the number of rows of planks from the edge of the hull to determine the location where I need to put down a masking tape. Now that I have the correct location for the position of each of the rows of pillars, and I need to determine the correct location for each individual pillar, as you saw from the Warships, the aft four pairs of pillars are evenly spaced, and the forward three pairs of pillars are evenly spaced, but at a slightly wider distance than the aft four. Using this information, I mark the tape that I had previously placed in the deck to indicate the precise location of each pillar. I then repeat the process for the inner row, this time dropping the wire through a hole in the shelter deck where the staircase will go. Now once again place in the corresponding location a piece of masking tape following the length of the planking on the deck. After marking the location of all of the pillars, I can then drill out the holes. Since this is 0.5mm wire, I'll use a 0.5mm bit to drill out the holes. This should result in a tight fit between the wire and the hole, enabling it to stay in place with friction alone. Once I have positioned the wire to its correct height, I'll use super glue to bond it in place. Before I install the pillars, they'll need to be painted, but in this area I'll also be installing other details that also need to be painted. So I'm going to set aside the painting work for a little bit later and work on constructing the ready lockers. 
The Flyhawk Detail Upgrade Kit comes with ready lockers to replace the plastic ready lockers that are installed on the aft of the shelter deck. These ready lockers should not be present unless I can repurpose them for installation on the forecastle deck. The construction of these ready lockers is quite simple. It's really what you would expect when constructing a simple box. Lines are well scored and the boxes fold together very easily. After folding the sides into position, I glue them together using extra thin superglue. After folding the ready lockers, I paint them in the hull color XF53. You may have noticed that two cylinders have also appeared that are being painted. I constructed these cylinders from offcuts from an old sprue. I'm using them to represent the shell elevator and supporting infrastructure for the 4 inch guns at the rear of the shelter deck. For some reason, Trumpet didn't provide these as part of the kits. They did provide them for the forward and center 4 inch guns, but just not for the aft one for some reason. So, this is a minor detail that I'm adding in. Not sure that anybody will ever notice this, but why not? It's a fairly simple thing to do, so I'm going to do it. And I mean, it makes sense, right? If I'm putting in half millimeter wire to represent minor pillars, then surely I should put in the effort to put in these more substantial shell elevators for these aft 4 inch guns. I'd been thinking about how I'm going to construct these pillars for a while, and I had figured out that it was obviously going to be some form of wire and that I would need to drill a hole through the deck so that I could easily get them to be all the same length, or at least appear to be the same length. The last thing to figure out was how I was going to paint them. Obviously trying to paint them while installed on the model would be very difficult. In order to make the installation of these pillars as easy as possible, I figured it would be best to paint the entire length of wire as a single piece first, and then cut it to length. The then cut to length pieces that are already painted could be installed in the ship. This will be substantially easier than trying to control 28 small pieces of wire. By my calculations, I'm going to need around half a meter of this wire, so I paint two 300 millimeter sections, just to be sure. Now that all the parts have been painted, I can move on to the installation, starting with the shell elevators for the 4 millimeter guns at the aft of the shelter deck. The most difficult aspect of this installation is to correctly position it underneath the shelter deck. To do this, I attach them to the shelter deck with painting putty, and then position the deck onto the ship. Then through the opening, I align the cylinder into the correct location and pick up the shelter deck, taking care not to move the pillar, and then put a generous blob of superglue at the base of the cylinder and reposition the shelter deck onto the kit. To cause the superglue to instantly set, I use superglue accelerator, and then I gently lift the shelter deck off of the kit, leaving the cylinder behind as it is now glued to the wooden deck. I then clean up the putty and repeat the process on the port side of the ship. After the installation of the shell elevators, I move on to preparing the pillars. I need to cut 28 sections of wire. After cutting all the pillars, I then install them on the ship using needle nose pliers to force them to the hole. I do find the fit to be a bit tight, but that's probably a good thing because it prevents them from accidentally falling through the hole while I work on this area of the ship. This video is part of a build series on the HMS hood. If you are enjoying this video and would like to see other videos in the build series, then follow the link to the playlist in the cards above. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer, then feel free to post them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Once all the pillars are in place, I use a ruler to push them down to the same height. And then I do a test fit with the shelter deck. Once happy with the heights of the pillars, I use super glue to bond them in place. Minor adjustments can then be made by bending the wires to ensure that they are standing vertically. I then move on to the last detail for this area of the ship, that is the installation of three ready lockers on each side of the ship. To install the lockers, I put them in place dry and then apply extra thin super glue to the edge to bond them in place. I'm not sure how much of this detail is going to be visible when this area is covered by the shelter deck. I don't think you're going to be able to see much of these ready lockers. Although I do think that the pillars are going to be very visible and I think that's an important thing to add in. It's also not a very difficult thing to do. The biggest problem is identifying where to place the pillars. And as I've shown you, you can identify where to place the pillars from 3D models in World of Warships. You may also find that there are better schematics that you can find from books and archives, but I don't have access to those. So I just have to go by what I can easily get a hold of. And for me, that is World of Warships. Although the location of these pillars is based on a 3D model from a computer game, I do think it is fairly accurate. I know that World of Warships does have historians that put in effort to ensure that their in-game models are accurate. 
and when looking at photos, this arrangement does not appear to be dispositive. I can look at them and say, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that those pillars look to be round about there. So overall, I'm quite happy with this outcome. Anyways, that is it for this video. In the next video, I'll be working on the shelter deck, the number of modifications that need to be made to the shelter deck before it is installed onto the model. If you would like to support this channel or see how this model looks when it is completed, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.